Hey guys, it's John at John's Films. I had some questions after the last DaVinci Resolve Studio vs. Free testing I did. The question was specifically, the H.264 codec that's included in DaVinci Studio, is it more efficient and therefore better than the one that's released in the free version? We'll take a look at how that affects both rendering and timeline playback. To give you an idea of what we're working with, Here's a fast forward of the footage I'm using for testing in this piece. It's two H.64 clips in 8-bit color from the GH5. This is shot at 60 frames a second. I chose to test on my Minimi system, underpinned by a Ryzen 1600 running at stock 3.2 GHz frequencies, an ASRock B450 Gaming ITX motherboard, and 16 GB of PC3200 G Skill RAM. It has a Radeon RX 580 graphics card and an SSD. Here we are in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. You'll notice I pulled 60 frames per second footage because I wanted to be able to track whether or not the timeline could keep up. I've turned off optimized media, proxy mode, render cache, etc. And I dragged the footage in to get a preview of it. Notice the frames per second there lagging behind as it's rendering and it's sticking around 60% CPU utilization. Now this is something to watch as we go through this testing because what we'll see is some differences when we get to the studio side. So I ran through both of these clips and found that, yep, sure enough, it sticks right around 60%. As for frame rates, there are some spots where it gets to 59.94 and sticks to it, but it continually drops out and doesn't always get it. Um, again, you'll notice this is ungraded footage. That's on purpose. It's so that all we're doing is testing the H.264 codec in its playback. As we add it to the timeline and play through, saw the same thing, but I wanted to test just to see if there's any variability. Now I'm tossing in the DaVinci Resolve Studio on the same machine. You'll notice this is my kid's box. And uh, I tested here because I didn't want to overpower it with another machine and thought that we'd be able to see the difference here and as we're checking through make sure optimized media is off etc what you're going to see we're going to play the same test so we'll do a timeline test and right now I'm using OBS studio as I did before to record it interesting note about that I ran it without it on and I got the same results so wasn't impacting the results in the playback or in the render but here's what we get as it plays through it sticks pretty hard to the target frame rate 59.94 and we don't see the variation that we saw in the other testing. I'm going to fast forward it here so you can watch the green dot stick. Pretty cool. All right, so now that you've seen that this is sticking pretty well, what might be of extreme interest to you is the CPU utilization as it's playing through. In my testing, I noticed that it ran about 30% rather than 60%. Now I thought, uh -huh, I wonder if it's offloading to the GPU, but of course I haven't put any GPU accelerated tasks in here. This is just raw H.264 out of camera. Now to give you the real smoking gun, in the same MSI Afterburner timeline, I uninstalled, so I ran the test in timeline, I uninstalled DaVinci Studio, I reinstalled DaVinci Free, and then I've got a comparison here of two areas highlighted in this timeline. The first one, is DaVinci Studio playing back the footage twice. The second is DaVinci Free playing back the same footage twice. Now you can see the CPU utilization differences. Finally, our render results. Resolve Studio is about 15 seconds faster in this very short task. If you're editing and rendering longer, uh, it could potentially gap further. It Both of them used all cores of the CPU as much as they could. No real difference there. But it does prove that the H.264 codec that is shipped with DaVinci Resolve Studio is more efficient and gives better playback than the one that's shipped with the free version. I hope this testing has been helpful to you, and I hope you have a great day. If you want to see more testing like this, let me know what you want tested. Happy to do it. Also, click subscribe, because I do intend to continue this and keep going through with it. Thanks.